Hello, my name is Les Williams, and you're following along with us as we learn our ShopBot desktop. So let's take a moment to listen to one of our students talk about why they're excited about CNC in high school. How are you? My name is Patricia Faith Williams. I am the captain of the Real Sea Robotics team at Parkview. Good. And what is that big blue machine in the back over there? That is our very brand new CNC machine. Good, and, and what will that help us do? Well, honestly, it'll just help us um, stay in competition a little bit better. We've really gone as far as we can go with um, handmade um, parts. They're, they're good, but they're never going to be the perfect that the CNC machine can make. And with so much of our competition going over and using the CNC machines, we couldn't compete on the same level. Mm -hmm. So... Um what kind of projects do you see it helping with uh, robotics specifically? What part of the robots do you think? Gears. gears? I'm really excited about cutting out the gears. Okay. And um, so we've been using a lot of gears, but our gears have had what kind of problems that this will solve? Well, see, when you hand make your own gear or your own wheel, there are always going to be these little knocks on, say, number seven spindle. It's just not going to be exactly the same as everything else. But so it won't run as smoothly, and it'll always have that little hitch. But it'll be perfect. Good, good. And what other? Do you think anything else would help with robotics-wise? Um, it can cut out the rest of our body if we need it to. It um, with that, um, like the claw, it can cut out the rest of that if we need it to. Right. So the different articulations, like. Uh, the arm and the, the small bits needed to move the hand claw or whatever. Yeah, with the CNC machine, we can make every part that we need to with a lot more precision than we would have been able to by hand. Mm -hmm. Have you used a lot of software in the past to to do this? To kind of make those parts first, or no? It's kind of our first run at it. So how will that help having to plan in advance and, and use the software before you get to the actual cutting? Um, if we'll be able to spot a lot of troubles and problems that we have with our um, device before we actually have to take the time and rebuild it. We'll be able to catch it in that step beforehand. Okay, so the engineering process gets a little smoother because you can do some stuff virtually or on the computer first mm -hmm. and then take it to the real life. Yeah. That's good. Are there other things besides robotic competitions that will you imagine the team will be using this technology for? Um, Science Olympiad, actually, that's coming up soon. We're going to be using that for Science Olympiad, for sure. Um, like what events? The, what kind of builded events, do you think? What about time, for example? Mm -hmm. It's, you have to build your own clock. Mm-hmm. That'll okay. be fun. Yeah, so. And others? You think of anything else? No. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. Not off the top of my head, but I know there are more. Okay, all right, good. All right, anything else you want to add about... Uh, so when you look at them, why, why are you excited about machines like that, other than the fact you get to... Have you ever used one before? No, I'm no. really excited to play with it and learn about it. Now, you've had the opportunity to visit some of our real-life business partners out in the community, um, like Laser Tool Code, some of those guys. So you've seen machines like them before. What was that like? It was really cool. Really? Were they like, was it like ours, the old desktop? Or? No, uh, they covered most of the room, actually. Mm -hmm. So but is, is it the, it's similar technology? It, yes, similar technology, just this is on a much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk to those guys, do they tell you anything about the need for people who know how to do this kind of thing? Or is there a lot of them or a few of them? Or? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of need for that because people um, just are stop they're not learning how to do things like this anymore so somebody who actually knows the programming behind this knows how to work the software is very high in demand okay so you're getting to to use the software and the technology does that make you it more makes attracted you to them or employable in really? any business like that good 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 and that's what they've told you yes <laughs> okay good all righty um anything else you want to add CNC machine rocks. <laughs> okay, thank you.